Closed caption sponsorship brought to you by... So, you got the microwave. What? You got the zoodle maker. Ooh. All right. And, of course, the smartphone, which you all are addicted to. All right. And, maybe the best of all, the tissues we use to blow our nose. <laughs> Excuse me. Ah. Now, these things all have two things in common. All these items do. They improve our lives every day, and they were all ideas someone came up with after having a aha moment. So if you thought you'd ever say to yourself, why didn't I come up with that, which you can say for any of these, then today's show is for you, because I am on a quest for a big health idea. In fact, the biggest health ideas of them all, along with my trusted sponsorship partner, USADA Health Sciences, who is a leader in health and innovation. Take a look at the ideas already pouring in from everybody at home, just like you. We scoured the country on a quest for the biggest new health idea. I called on the nation's best and brightest inventors who saw something missing from the market and decided to take matters into their own hands. I am the CEO, founder, and mommypreneur of Dare You Go. Baby Brain Organics. Nosh, a non-dairy vegan pudding company. I poured over the entries, keeping in mind the parameters of our competition. To win the title of our big health idea, the invention has to be unique. Morning recovery is a solution for your next morning after a night out of drinking. Affordable. It'll take your razor, it'll make it last three to five times longer. So this is going to save you money. And above all, provide users with a healthy perk that improves their lives. To alter unhealthy foods and make them healthier. We got hundreds of submissions and hundreds of revolutionary products. Let's see which of them has what it takes to be our big health idea. Ideas. Let's meet the judges who will decide. First, we've got USANA judge, Dr. Robert Sennett. Thank you for being here. Oh, my pleasure. Thank so, you. So, why was it important for USANA to be part of this competition to help judge this with us? Oh, we're always looking for big health ideas. I mean, USANA is all about health innovation and wellness, and we scour the world constantly looking for the greatest new ideas to help improve people's lives, increase their lifespan. So this was a natural fit for us. So one of USANA's biggest innovations is Incelligence. So please explain that to everybody. Okay, Incelligence is a brand new generation of, of nutritional technology. So back in the day, you had vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, and then phytochemicals came along. What Incelligence does is tie that all together and signal your cells to renew themselves. So this is really just a brand new thing that USANA developed and perfected. So Incelligence works differently in me than it would work in you, even though it's the same compounds. And so that's really the, the core of personalized nutrition. So just so I'm clear on this, instead of you throwing all the things at my cells that you think my cells need, you get my cells to do what it should be doing anyway, to protect the cell, to turn on mechanisms? That's a great way of saying it. it. That's exactly what we're doing. We're giving them all the nutrition they need and then letting them do what they do best, which is repair themselves. Right, sounds good to me. All right, now, this is going to be two of us judging, right? But we have a surprise judge, a third judge, a real authority. She is, well... She's a fantastic friend. She's known all to you because she's the star of Shark Tank, Barbara Corcoran. Thank you. I love having you here. Nice to see you. Nice to meet you. I have so much respect for you. All the sharks are good at this, but you're specifically talented. Oh, you say yeah. that to everyone. You do. It's true. Come on. I never say that to Kevin. I <laughs> so, so the thing about ideas is so many folks are out there looking for that million-dollar idea, and it mm -hmm. just generates a million-dollar question, which is, what makes an idea great? So when you hear all these pitches coming at you, how do you turn one on? You know what turns me on? It's never the idea. It's the entrepreneur behind it. If you get... Even a mediocre idea, if you could think of a new way of executing it, you can have a winner on your hand. So, for example, you might be starting a pizzeria or have a technology company, but you have to find a different way of delivering a little twist on it and put a good entrepreneur, entrepreneur behind that, and that thing is going to go a hundred times over. So help me understand what makes a great entrepreneur. What makes someone a, a really special inventor? A special inventor has a really creative soul. They're anxious to see what's around the corner, and that helps to drive them. But much more important than that is they also have a 
back of steel. When they get a hit of taking in the chin, they have a way of getting back up without blaming the next guy or feeling sorry for himself. And that's always the entrepreneur that I put my money on because no matter what they're selling, it winds up great. All right, you're, you're sitting up there with the other sharks. You're trying to bid, mm -hmm. uh, and then you, a product comes out. Yes. How do you know which product? What are you looking for? It's pretty much common sense. I, I want to do, I want to see if it looks good, smells good, tastes good, whatever the product is. But after that, I really want to find out if the entrepreneur actually took the product, figured out what it costs, multiplied it times three, because that's the margins you need to make a profit. And if they actually had the common sense to get out in the street and see if they could convince some suckers to buy the thing. <laughs> most people go and spend tons of money without even testing, does it sell? And that's the most important step in my thinking. What's the hardest question that an entrepreneur has to be able to answer to get past you? Uh, the, the same question I'm always driving at in different ways is, what hardship have you had in your life that you got over? Because I've learned that I lose my money on the entrepreneurs that didn't have hardship or folded on them. Whereas if I could get a guy telling me he's got a hole in his gut, I know it sounds weird, but all these hardships give people a fervor to come back to prove something. So if I could get to the fact that that person has something to prove, I know they're gonna win because they got a lot more in the game. Oh, I love that. All right, so my team is gonna select three finalists. That's right, from all the submissions out there, we're working hard on this. There will be three finalists who are gonna come right here in New York City and they're gonna present their idea on my show, on this stage, next to the judges. And their idea is gonna be judged on their originality as well as their relevance and usefulness to the health and wellness of the Dr. Oz community, which is pretty much all of us. So I hope to see you standing right here next to me when we come back. Because uh, it's going to be only in a few weeks. You ready Exciting. for this? I'm ready. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back.